everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. I went thrifting for the first time since the $5 Goodwill challenge, believe it or not. It's been so long, I have not had time to go thrifting and that makes me sad. Uh, I have, uh, so I have a thrift haul for you. Um, and oddly enough, all the items coordinate kind of, with the exception of one. So I'm going to jump right in and I'm gonna show you that one item. I purchased this, the Aroma 8 Cup <laughs> uh, rice cooker and food steamer. I've been wanting one of these. I almost got one at Black on Black Friday for like 10 bucks or something like that, but I got this one. This one was $6 and with my 25% off, it was $4.49 and I cannot wait to clean this up and uh, use this for cooking. Super excited about that. And it has all the pieces too, with the exception of the manual. I had to look that up online. Second thing, it's kind of on the floor because it's massive, is I found this piece of fabric. It looks like somebody made some no-sew curtains with it. Um, and it looks like this. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, looks like that. And I was thinking about trying to recover my um, chairs with it. I don't really like this mauvey, muddy red color. Um, but I think I might be able to fussy cut and like get like this section on the chair. If I can't, then I will, I can definitely get some pillows out of it anyway. Um, so I thought that, and this was $3.99. So I paid $2 and let's see, $2.99 for it. That's what I paid for it. $2.99. Kept my receipt just in case. <laughs> uh, let's see, the next thing I purchased was 99 cents and it is just this pillow sham. I believe it's a king. It's pretty huge. It's like a sage, it's like not quite blue, not quite green, kind of somewhere like a silvery sage color. It was 99 cents, so I paid 74 cents for it. And this will be a super easy uh, envelope style pillow cover. It's already basically got the envelope, so I'll just cut it here. <laughs> and sew it up and it will make a great pillow cover. So I have not purchased milk glass in forever. Uh, I haven't found a piece that screams to me, but this time I did. It's a piece that uh, coordinates with a piece I already have. I don't know if you can see it up there. Nope, it's just a little too high. Uh, but it looks just like this. I'm hoping you can pick up the detail on this. I'm not really seeing the detail uh, um, in the camera, but <laughs> in my tiny little screen. But it was $2.29, so I paid $2.24 with it. And now I like this one enough that I can get rid of a different one. I just have to pick one. Um, yeah, I really like it. And I can't wait to put it to use. I already have an idea of what I'm going to use it for. <sighs> And then you guys, I found this. This was two twenty nine or two ninety nine as well. And I paid two dollars and twenty four cents for it uh, after my coupon. And it is just this beautiful cream pitcher. I don't know the maker. I wonder if that's underneath the tag. I hate trying to peel the tags off without the blow dryer because then you get the sticky stuff that won't. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> so um, I don't know the maker of it, but it is really cool. It has this fun shape like that. And it has daisies on it, and if you don't know, daisies are my favorite flower. Uh, so I thought they were, I thought that was super pretty. And I have a huge love for pictures. Um, it doesn't, I just, I don't care what brand it is, what kind it is, um, as long as it's like a, a pleasing to the eye shape um, and a color in, that I like and in my color palette, I will probably grab it. Next up is this little bowl. I thought this was super cute. I have no idea what this was used for, but it was $2.99, so again, $2.24. Has this cute little wooden ha handle, and I thought that was adorable. Uh, has a hair in it. <laughs> uh, but And I really like that, so I think I can incorporate that into my decor as well. And this, you guys, is gorgeous. How much did I pay? $2.24 again, you guys. But it's this the green recycled glass. Uh, vase, I guess, and it's just like wonky and it has this cool, I don't know, you can barely see it in person too, but it's this ridge detail with the, it's like a flourish with a narrow top. It needs a good cleaning, but 
I was so excited to find that. I thought that would really look really pretty with some pussy willows or some leafy twigs or something um, sticking out of the top. Some dogwood would be pretty. And then I found a book. This book is called Love and Will, and then it says May on it, so I'm wondering if it was a, a, an edition of something. But it is just this perfect blue-green color that coordinates with my house, and I just love it. The pages are all yellowed, and um, so I'm gonna add this to my decor for sure. Last but not least is this basket. It was $3.99. So I paid $3, $2.99 for it, technically. Um, and I just thought it was really cool. Everything I bought was sage, basically. <laughs> I love it. And it said it's, and it says on the bottom it's made in China, but I thought this was really cool. And it would be cool in the fall with some, um, what are those, wheat stems sticking out or some in the spring with pussy willows and daisies or just anything, really. I thought this was really cool and you know my love for baskets. That was my thrift haul, you guys. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I would like to know, have you guys found anything really cool at the thrift store lately? I feel like I've been going through withdrawal, but I have not been able to find a minute to go, um, which makes me really sad because I love to thrift. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will chat with you soon. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Mwah. Bye! My dog thinks he's Thumper.